Hello, everybody. I am Brian Mullins the Fox. Time for a different approach for a rant video for my second channel. Here's a good question. Does less predator hunters mean we'd have less predators at this point? Because I'm starting to see a trend that is actually starting to piss me off. This trend of these quote-unquote predator hunters on Discord, on the internet in general, colluding with predators and zoophiles, even worse, child rapists and zoo sadists for the sake of blood sports, or just for a grift, never giving a single iota of a damn about the victim or about people that they endanger themselves. They are a hindrance to the people they seek to help. They are a hindrance to the animals they seek to complain and rant for or speak for when they can't speak for themselves. This whole fucking mentality is really starting to piss me off of pretending to be the good guy, pretending to be the hero, when anything, the anti-hero should be the biggest hero of them all by destroying the quote-unquote hero purporting himself to be the actual fucking hero. That's it. All you need to do is take the piss out of these motherfuckers, take the motherfucking facade down, and then everyone will see how much of a sham being a fucking predator hunter on the internet actually is. And I don't know about the rest of you, this could catch on to Lyle Convoy unironically, but I don't know how, I don't know why, I'm not gonna go that far in predicting that. That's not my job. It's not my choice either. By the way, Happy Mother's Day, ladies and gentlemen. I chose to do this unscripted rant video because I really feel like I want to vent off. Should we just expose the fact that possibly every single fucking predator hunter that purports to be predator hunters on the internet are just colluders with pedophiles, child rapists, zoosadists, and zoophiles. Because if so, I will be the one who spearheads the charge. I'll be the one that'll rear my ugly fucking head, let alone my ugly fucking face, into beating the shit out of their reputation. Because honestly, if you're talking all big and edgy about how these pedophiles or predators deserve the bullet, and then, without anyone noticing, you colluding with these same pedophiles and the same fucking zoosadists that rape animals, if anything, you deserve the bullet first, then the pedophile. That's assuming if the victim doesn't deserve it before you. That's only if. Alright, I fucking had it up to here with this drama, and I'm waiting very, very patiently for Lyle Convoy's part two to exposing Kaz Fox and his Fox Mafia and making some addendums slash corrections. But in the meantime, I just have to entertain the suggestion. I really have to entertain the suggestion. Should we just expose all the predator hunters for being massive colluders of pedophiles, child rapists, and fucking zoosadists? Should we make this link? Should we establish this link between the predator hunters and the pieces of shit they're seeking to hunt down and becoming the very thing they seek to hunt down against? Yes. And if so, the truth will come out, and even the most innocent, even the bravest, brightest, and self-aware of them will be exposed. And I hate to say this, but it might happen to Lyle Convoy. I don't know why I'm not gonna say that he did anything wrong, because he didn't at the moment. But if I'm wrong somewhere, I will make a correction, and I will stand firm. And if Lyle did something wrong, I'll give him a taste of his own medicine in only the verbal format. Not a piss-taking, but a proverbial ass-beating. But until then, thanks for watching my short rant video. I'm Brian Mullins the Fox. Before I sign out though, let me answer the question, let alone the title of this video. Does less predator hunters mean we'd have less predators at this point because they collude with predators and animal and child fuckers? Yes. But it's only a matter of when we'll find out how many, or if not all of them, were ignorant of. Because there's an innocent side to this situation, where people blindly believed these predator hunters and zoosadists, zoophile hunters, without a second thought, and having to literally cope through, having to realize the fact that they collude with the very people they seek to destroy, capture, hunt down, and report to the police. Goodbye.